Is Zucoins truly peer-to-peer -peer and decentralized, or has Alan Endres sold us short again? Let's review. A true peer-to-peer -peer network, seen on the right, doesn't contain a single point of failure and everything talks to each other. On the left, see the traditional server client model. It could be one of multiple servers from a third party. Let's check with Alan and Robert what Zucoins does. A ton of our processing is done between peers. It's not done through these mining or node servers. Uh, that's another big challenge we had to have. And we've, yeah, it looks like we've passed that pretty well. Nobody is involved in when you move your value. Nobody. There is nobody there or out there that's going to stop me moving it from myself, my wallet, to Robert. User experience which relate to the way in which the network operates and has to operate if you want to keep this truly decentralized, which is what we've done. That's exactly a good point. Like a lot of the problems that a lot of even uh, tech startups have. Yeah. And the balancing totals are always carried through and it's verified through the, the uh, decentralized network and the nodes that operate independent of that in relation to confirming that you're legitimate in the Zucoin world. Uh, we are back to talking about node servers. Let's find out if it's truly decentralized with no third parties. We have two Android phones running Chrome debugging. We have the network inspector open to monitor traffic. We are just doing a simple small transaction. Waiting for the next transfer time, no time request, it must use local time. This is poor time implementation due to time drift on different time servers and devices. Let's skip forward. Okay. We have a request and response. Let's continue. Copying and pasting the transaction code. Okay, we can see some requests and responses from on the receiver wallet. Let's check the traffic so far. Okay, we can see request to splitchain.com and an IP address. Whose IP address is it? Cloudflare. You mean to tell me, I'm not connecting to my other phone directly over the mobile network yet? It's Cloudflare on the receiving wallet too. What happened to being truly peer-to-peer -peer with no third party? Let's fast forward and check at the end. Checking each request and response. Yep, all Cloudflare. And all the same Cloudflare IP addresses too. Checking the IP address ownership on a separate source. Yep, it's all Cloudflare which means there's a third party and it's not decentralized. You might ask what is Cloudflare? Cloudflare is a content distributed network designed to run multiple clones of a website or app across a global network of servers. It is for website security and performance. Cloudflare can take down your site or app. Cloudflare is commonly used and nothing special. Remember the diagram from the start? This is Zucoin's node servers talking to the wallets, not peer to peer. The phones are not sending directly to each other. I know you and I could deliver a package directly to you. That's peer to peer sending. Instead, I was lazy and used Australia Post or Cloudflare to deliver the package. That's not peer-to-peer. -peer. Zucoin servers or app is hosted with Cloudflare across the globe. While it is distributed, it's not decentralized. It is centralized across the global by a third party, Cloudflare. Cloudflare, while cheap, app server compute costs can be $200 plus per month depending on load. App workers' costs are based on number of requests, read, writes, deletes, and storage requirements. Once scale, this is not cheap. Cloudflare costs money. Zucoin's transfers are free. Who is paying? Who is paying? Zucoin's might be shut down. What if Alan doesn't pay his bills to Cloudflare? Cloudflare might take the server app offline. Domainsplitchain.com might be blocked or removed from DNS servers, blocked by internet providers, registered by domain registrars what was alan saying again nobody is involved in when you move your value nobody there is nobody there or out there that's going to stop me moving it from myself my wallet to robert ha 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 very funny alan it's not truly decentralized a ton of our processing is done between peers it's not done through these mining or node servers uh, that's another big challenge we had to have and we've yeah, it looks like we've passed that pretty well. The, the balancing totals are always carried through and it's verified through the, the uh, decentralized network and the nodes that operate independent of that in relation to confirming that you're legitimate in the Zucoin world. Very funny, Alan and Robert. You mean you run server nodes? You said you didn't need a, like other crypto?
Uh, that's all, folks. 